Hey, what's up? This is Scott with the Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be going over menus in Drupal. So to get started, I'm actually going to get rid of this test block that I put on here last time because we don't really want this in the site anywhere. So I'm just going to set it to none for its region. Click save. It's no longer there. Okay, so to get into menus, there's a couple ways. We can go to structure, and then we can select menus. And then we can add it to our shortcuts if you want, or you cannot. Um, you know, I'm just not going to add it right now because I don't really feel like I'll be in here a ton. But in some instances where you're building lots of menus and uh, the site gets a little bit larger, you're going to have to be in here a little bit more often. So if you notice, uh, Drupal gives you four menus to start. There's the main menu, the management menu, navigation, and user menu. So let's see what they are. To get into the main menu, you can click list links here and you'll see the links and in their order. So I actually notice uh, this is home projects and about. This is our main navigation. So I actually want projects to come after about. So let's actually drag this one down here and when we click save, it's going to keep it in that order. Okay, let's go back to menus to check out the other ones. If we check out management, there's all sorts of administrative menus. These are where you can uh, you can you know edit these, but personally, I never touch these administrative menus unless maybe you're changing it for a particular user or something. But I mean, I don't really go in here to change anything. Leave it the way it is. Um, navigation. This is uh, also the navigation. If you noticed on our main page, it shows up as a block. This is the navigation that Drupal comes with. I personally usually take this off, build my own, whatever. I don't usually have a ton of sites where people are adding content other than the site administrators. But if you are, uh, this menu is pre-made for you, and you can take this and turn it into something else if you want. Okay, and if you come down here, user menu. Uh, this is the link says basically my account logout. Um, of course, if you'll notice this one's unchecked, it says disabled. If we were to check this, it would be re-enabled. Um, I'm also not planning on using this menu. Um, if you come up here, here it is. But, you know, really, uh, when this site's done, I'm going to be the only person who I really want logging in. So to access that, I'm just going to have to go to st slash user, and I don't really need to log in my account button. But if you're building these sites out for sites that other people are going to be accessing, you know, you know, you might want to use this or expand on that menu or change it. So let's say you wanted to have an item be a child of another item in a menu. So let's go to structure, menus, and then let's grab this navigation menu because it's not one that I really care about. If you notice here, this one is uh, in its normal place. However, these three are all slightly indented to the right. That means these are children of this uh, content or children of this menu link. So if we slide this basic page one or any of these out and down, you'll see that it's moved and it's no longer a child of this. If we click save here, go back to our menu, you'll see that this project is now actually showing. Uh, if you notice here, this triangle here is signifying that there are other menu items within here. So let's go back to structure, menus, and then navigation. Let's click edit on this add content link. So this is a menu link edit screen. This is where you can change the name of the link, the path. And this path is auto set to add content because if this, this is a default one. However, if this is a menu item you created, this would be a field where you could put the path in. The description is what's going to be shown when your mouse hovers over the link. It's enabled, so it's going to show up. And you see that show as expanded is unchecked. If we check this, the children of this menu item should be shown um, in a list below it. Okay, so we're going to click save here. And we're going to save this menu. Click, click the X here. And you can see now that the children of this menu, of this menu item, are now featured below it. Well, let's say you want to add more children to the children. Well, that's just as easy. Let's click here. You can just drag this basic page or any of these to the right a little bit more, and this is now a child of article. However, it won't show up unless the show as expanded is checked in this as well. So we'll save this, exit out, and you can see it's now shown as all of them are expanded. 
Okay, so this is a good introduction to menus. Uh, if in the next lesson, we're going to show you how to create a menu item from the menu screen, and then you can get working on building your own menus instead of just adding um, and changing the ones that are built into Drupal. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave a comment or hit us up at Twitter at LevelUpTuts. Once again, this is Scott, and thanks for watching.